Greetings to you this day. This is Michelle Strickland, and I'm coming to you today with my daily theology lesson. It's my daily meditation that I do for myself. I record it and I release it because maybe somebody else out there can get something out of it. It just so happens that I love theology and I love God. I want to become a better principled person. You know, choose God this day. The bad guys, they sin. The good guys, we sin. We all sin. It's whom you serve. You don't have to be perfect. No one is. But if you come to God's team, just try to be better. You might have situations that you deal with for the rest of your life. But if you choose God, he can help you get through those rough times. And love yourself. Because if you love yourself, if no one else loves you, you'll be okay. You know, And never give up on yourself. If you have yourself, you have everything. If you lost everything, don't give up. You, know, you have yourself so you can always rebuild. For those of you just tuning in, I focus on the three major religious texts, the Bible, the Quran, and I'm in an introductory Buddhist uh, text called The Shape of Suffering, and it deals with the pentacle rising. Without no this, there's no that. I try to rotate the text at least twice a week, sometimes more, sometimes less, depending on how I'm led to meditate each day. I'm, um, I'm back in the rotation for the Quran. I'm still in chapter three, but I'm moving along. Also, I'm reading these all of these texts from cover to cover, okay? After this winter season break, not this recent one, but the one back, um, like almost, you know, at the beginning of, of this year when I came back, um, I, I developed a, a, um, a schedule so I started at the New Testament so I'll be reading the New Testament I'm starting I'm in the New Testament so I'm reading the New Testament all the way through to the end and then I'm gonna come back around and then cover the Old Testament okay anyway so we're in the Quran chapter 3 section 16 I said 15 chapter 16 I mean section excuse me chapter 3 section 16 my 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 bad I'm sorry Verses 148 through 154. Oh, you who believe, if you obey those who disbelieve, they will make you turn back upon your heels, so you will turn back losers. Nay, Allah is your, pre, your patron, and he is the best of the helpers. He will cast terror into the hearts of those who disbelieve, because they set up with Allah that for which he has sent down no authority, and their abode is the fire. And evil is the abode of the wrongdoers. Okay, bullies and bad guys, that's for you. That's dedicated for you. Yeah, because you just keep it on. And Allah certainly made good his promise to you when you slew them by his permit. Excuse me. And Allah certainly made good his promise to you when you slew them by his permission until you became weak-hearted and disputed about the affair and disobeyed after he had shown you that which you loved. Of you were some who desired this world, and of you were some who desired this hereafter. It gives you a choice, good or bad, choose. <coughs> Sorry, it's getting to be fall. Sorry, my allergies kicking up. He give you a choice. He give us a choice. Then he turned you away from them that he might try you. He, and he has indeed pardoned you. And the law is gracious to the believers. So you can change, okay? I ch I'm trying to be better. I, I make mistakes, though. Yes, I do. I do. I, some, some things I do like to do too much. But guess what? I get back in gear and... <laughs> Because I love God, even though I make mistakes. I have to suffer. We all have to suffer our consequences, good or bad, regardless whether you love God or don't. It's just how it goes. It's how you get through it. That's why I never give up on yourself. It's, it's rough out here. I, I, I know it is. And everybody's situations are different, you know, depending on where you are in the world. I get it. I do. Then after grief, he sent down security on you, slumber overcoming a part of you, while there was another party whom their own souls had rendered anxious. They entertained about a lot of thoughts of ignorance quite unjustly. They said, 
Have we any hand in the affair? Say, the affair is wholly in the hands of Allah. They hide within their soul that which they would not reveal to thee. Trying to play with God, you know. Like he doesn't see everything. He sees everything. The heavenly hosts see everything. You don't have to believe it. Don't. You're going to believe it when it's your turn. You're going to believe it then. Good or bad. We're going to, you know. We all have doubts sometimes. But I'd rather, you know, be, you know. I'd rather be trying to work with God, you know. I will really would. Even if I make some mistakes every now and then. I still better, I still jump back on his team. Yes, I do. Think it's a joke. It's always a joke till it gets serious. Then when it gets serious, everybody want to be all different then. Right? Sometimes it's too late. Don't let it be too late for you. The fair is holy in the hands of Allah. They hide within their souls that which they would not reveal to thee. You can't hide your you can't hide who you are from God, people. You can fool other people only for a while. Only for a while. They say, had we any hand in the affair, we would not have been slain here. Say, they need to, knowing they, knowing they was de devilish, then they want to pretend like they weren't devilish, like God didn't see what, they, what the behaviors were, hiding within their soul. You can pretend with people on the exterior, you can, but when it comes to inside, baby, the heavenly host know. He had remained in your houses. Those for whom slaughter was a dame would have gone forth to the places where they would be slain. Let me read that again. Say, had you remained in your houses, those for whom slaughter was ordained would have gone forth to the places where they would be slain. And this happened that Allah might test what was in your breast and that he might purge what was in your hearts, and Allah is nor what is in the breast. He knows, he knows. It's tests for us. Are they easy? No. They're not no, no, sometimes they're not. No, they're not. I agree. I do. I've been through a lot. And and a lot some a lot of what I've been through, I, it was life and death. So I know it's real. I'm not joking. You know, Vin, someday I'll tell part of my story. I won't tell all of it, but I'll tell part of it. And it's her, there's some good. It's a lot of good. But when it's bad, I get, I get it. It's horrible. But I keep on going, though, because I'm with him. Let me keep on going. Those of you who turn back on the day when the two armies met, only the devil sought to cause them to make a slip on account of some deeds they had done. And certainly Allah has pardoned them. Surely Allah is forgiving, forbearing. God forgives you. You better you better you better ask him to forgive you while you still can, while you're still able to. There's still it's you're still there's still if you're even if you messed up, out just change. Just ask him to forgive you. You might you're gonna have to suffer your consequence for what you did good or bad we don't none of us get away from that none of us but it's better to suffer your consequence with god than not with satan it's going to be worse 